Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Thursday, right? It's Thursday. Uh, last week and the week before, uh, again, uh, you know, you started feeling the effects of staying at home, um, you know, burning yourself out. And again, like I said, a little bit, a little, you start to get used to these things. You really do. Um, although, again, I'm naturally tired towards the end of the week. I, I think mentally I prepared myself for this week. Um, I traded accordingly. Uh, I basically took the last you know hour and a half or so off just to kind of uh, you know play some ball, just to kind of get a little bit of outdoors time and kind of refresh my brain. So that's been kind of the formula for me to stay sane, um, stay you know stay energized and kind of stay focused. And I, I, I think again what we talked about a couple of weeks ago. Um, what we thought was boredom, right? Boarding and the wall, walls are closing in. And, you know, now slowly but surely is just becoming um, the regular part of life, okay? And what, what, what's, you know, what separates, uh, what separates boredom from uh, normalcy is just kind of a routine and kind of omitting the bad stuff, concentrating on the good stuff, trying to stay uh, mentally positive. That's the key. You got to start, you know, you got to start looking at the good things. There's so many bad things that are happening right now in the world and you know they're just throwing out these ridiculous numbers right of, of potential deaths and this that the other thing and again you just have to be uh you have to smile as much as you can you have to be uh as mentally tough as possible and just don't read the news man don't look at the news after the close uh, again the last thing you want to do is go to sleep at night with all these thoughts and worst case scenarios uh, again, life is hard. Uh, as I say all the time, life is only hard for the first hundred years. I promise it gets easier than that. So stay sane, guys. Stay safe. Again, stay uh, at home. So um, I, I think today's session was a uh, pretty solid, pretty solid session. Um, you had your morning scalps. Um, you had your bigger continuation moves uh, that we saw yesterday, for example, in stocks like Boeing and Tesla today. Again, we saw it with Tesla again. And um, I, I think today is the kind of day that if you look at the scoreboard, you can turn around and say, well, the Bulls won, right? Bulls won, not so fast. I, I, I do believe, and again, depending on what type of trader you are, again, I trade channels. For me, the scoreboard is kind of irrelevant. Um, you can make a case today, but, and, and you know, we did make a case. Uh, all the value today was to the downside. I mean, really was to the downside. You had your last five, 10 minutes or so. Again, if you, if you were just hanging on the last, 10 minutes of the day, yeah, you saw this, right? You saw this big, big move, whatever, uh, spike into the close. But look, at the end of the day, again, I don't know how many people are putting on, you know, day trading positions or scalping, whatever the hell you want to call it, in the last five, 10 minutes of the day. Again, if you're that aggressive and that active, boy, you have a lot more energy than I do. So um, I, I, I saw two things happen. Number one, big surge this morning on, uh, on oil, right? You had crude oil moving, I think it was like 20, 25%. Uh, in the middle of the day, you had uh, Trump, I, I, guess, I think guess it was meeting with these oil companies, whatever the case may be. And you saw these like really, really big, you know, really big surges on all the oil names. You had XLM going nuts. Uh, you had Oxy going nuts. And you looked at the scoreboard and the market literally went from being you know flat on the day to you know surging three four hundred points and I, I noticed something you know we were talking about this in the webinar and I even tweeted about this and I said I don't see anything going higher you know except for the, for the oil stocks and again how much you know how much do you really need for the Dow to surge two three four hundred points you don't need a lot it's only thirty stocks and I, I kept on noticing that none of beta was rallying nothing rallied okay. Tesla couldn't get out of its own way. Uh, Amazon couldn't rally. Roku couldn't rally. Beyond couldn't rally. Nvidia, Nvidia, although it was the strongest stock towards the end, towards the latter half of the morning, towards the end of the day, for, that was the only exception. But if you look at all these other stocks, uh, Netflix and Facebook and and and, and Apple uh, and Shop downgraded today. You know, Mike, everything was either flatlining or kind of drifting lower. 
And I said, there's no value for me on the upside today. No value. Um, I thought the day was going to give us a good value to the downside. We'll talk about the pivots in a second. And the reason for that thinking was, and this is kind of what we, we've been talking about, the tone of, you know, having the ability to have a position, right? Have a sentiment, have an opinion of the day, and let the market prove you wrong, right? Not kind of jump gun going to the other side of the fence. Have the market prove you wrong. Yesterday, again, we talked about on the video, you could split hairs, you could have made a case that we closed below the 10-day the moving average on the queues, we closed above it, you could split hairs. The key of today's session was let the bears, at least let the bears for the first part of the day, give them the benefit of doubt, right? Give them the benefit of doubt. And although they did not take out yesterday's low, right? Yesterday's low was that 180, uh, 86 that we talked about um, last night on the video, obviously this morning as well, you know, we put them in the low today, 180, 97. Although they did not, right? They did not uh, pierce yesterday's session. The value clearly was on the short side. However, right here, here it is. If you believe in the theory, okay? If you believe in the theory that the scoreboard doesn't mean anything, okay? Um, you have to take into full grain of salt of what the bulls did towards the end of the day. Okay. Uh, again, I personally think most traders, unless you were positioning for the next trading day, it's very hard to turn around and say the, 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 you know, the bulls won today. Yes, they won on the scoreboard, but it's very, very hard to say they won. Because again, if you look at the channels right now and you look at the macro picture, you'll see exactly what needs to happen next. Again, we, we all think we're smart, not me, I know I'm gonna do it, but we all start out thinking we're smart and we're trying to guess what's gonna happen next. Again, guys, these are the levels going forward. Again, you can't, there, there's no gray area in this. Either we start building above 190 on the Qs or we start building below this 180.86. And as you can tell right here, this is kind of why we, why we say it's very hard to, to, to proclaim bulls a victory today. We close right in the middle. Everybody see that? Not at the highs, not at the lows. We close right in the middle. So going into tomorrow's session, again, I want to give the bears the benefit of the doubt. Not because I'm a bear and I hope this market goes to hell in a handbasket. Again, you can see that's where the value is. It's, if you go through charts today, okay, it's very, very tough to turn around and say, wow, I love this stock. This stock is going to break out. There's nothing breaking out, okay? We all know there's nothing breaking out. There's some stocks coming out of channels, some of the, you know, some names, for example, like a, like an MRNA, right? You know, uh, you know, MRNA is attempting to come out of a channel, a name that I found, um, you know, when I was charting TW, I don't even know what the damn thing is, but it looks pretty good, right? If it confirms, uh, it goes higher. You know, you could find names like this for tomorrow that are on a verge of maybe starting to break out of certain daily channels, but it's very, very hard to turn around and say, wow, Facebook is going to rip tomorrow. Why? Based on what? Does it show you it's going to rip? Do you have any faith in Amazon's going to rip tomorrow? Right, it's right in the middle of the channel. Netflix, although again, it's a pure play, right? It's a pure play and it's sitting and it held a 50-day moving average. Again, at least you could make a case, well, if the market's strong tomorrow, if it starts taking out today's ranges, there is back room to the 380, 385. At least you can make those, at least you can make those claims. Uh, but again, when you look at the direct breadth of the market, right, the direct, especially in the NASDAQ 100 members, it's very, very tough to turn around and say, gun to the head, we're going to rally tomorrow. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But again, the most important part of the technical aspect of what's going to happen going forward is understand the macro levels, 190 to the upside, uh, 180, 80 uh, to the downside, everything else. Again, you really need a process to kind of handle what, what happens. Because again, today was very, very, uh, very, very whippy. And a lot of people turn around and say it was choppy. I didn't think it was choppy. I, I, again, I was waiting for the channels to confirm to the downside. So it, 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 there wasn't anything choppy for me. Like I didn't want to buy stocks today. The whole day I've been saying, the whole day from the time uh, from morning strategy till till afternoon, I said there's nothing that I want to buy. There's absolutely zero value uh, to the upside. And at, at some point, we were up two, three hundred points. I said, listen, at certain point, uh, at certain point, I wouldn't be surprised if they pulled the plug in the market. And the market went red. You know, the Dow went red, the Nasdaq went red, uh, and then you had that late say, late late surge. And I was already logged off. Um, I was already logged off, and I was uh, trying to get some exercise. So wild day today. Again, the key to any type of structured balance going forward. And I'm talking about in the future. I'm not even talking about even tomorrow. Number one, um, the spread of the virus has to slow down. Uh, the deaths has to slow down, okay? 
the overnight volatility in the futures cash market has to slow down. And by no means, again, if you're an intraday trader, yes, I understand. Up 400, down 400 is great. But if you are an investor, that's the last thing you want to see. That's, that's the barometer for uncertainty to its, to its highest form. And again, remember, we're only one headline away from you know, taking down this bottom channel here and, and testing lows. Again, will we test the lows? Again, if there was a gun to my head, I would say yes. Okay, I, I don't think for a second uh, this was a generational bottom anywhere here. And based on what we're seeing, based on the fact that we still have seven more states uh, to go into what they call at least a, what was a stay at home or staycation, whatever the hell they're calling it these days. Um, I think it's very, very important that this country definitely logs down. Again, if you look at like a kind of a micro cosmic image, right? Like if you look at the, the NBA teams, just an example, um, for the teams that did test positive, you had a couple players, including like Durant, uh, test positive on the Nets. Uh, you had a couple of players on the Jazz that kind of start out the whole thing with Donovan Mitchell and uh, Rudy Gobert. If you look at what happened when they all went into quarantine and knock on wood, all those players uh, recovered very, very quickly. If you look at everything, the Lakers, the Denver Nuggets, again, they, they kind of stopped it, right? They kind of stopped the spread. And, and again, that's what we need to do as the entire country, the entire world. Just stop it, man. Just stop it. The longer we are uh, going forward in this whole Let's see what happens next, okay? Psychology, it, it's, it's very counterproductive. So again, guys, stay at home. Uh, I saw for all you guys who follow uh, Larry David on Instagram, very funny, go back to his uh, couple of posts. He has a video that's showing, and again, I think Larry David is a genius, but he has a great you know, two minute video saying, What's, you guys are having a one-time generational uh, you know, idea of sitting at home, watching TV, he goes, there's nothing good ever happens when you go outside. Hey, he knows something, guys. So again, stay safe, please stay safe. The longer we uh, procrastinate and continue to go outside, you know, and, and, and mix and match with people, this thing is only going to spread and spread and spread. So please do the right thing. Do the right thing. So uh, let's talk about the pivots today. Again, uh, all the values to the downside. Okay, if you look at literally every pivot today was to the downside. I I think that I I think I put in a pivot. Uh, towards the latter part of the day on, on Netflix uh, through 370. And it spiked a little bit. Again, I was already long gone by then. So again, we, we talked about, uh, we talked about um, you know, this 180, 85 area. If it builds below, it can flush the 10 day confirmation. This is still a huge, huge number going forward. So again, every pivot was to the downside. Uh, Roku, uh, 180, 130, 181, excuse me, 81. Uh, if it builds below, it can flush. So it gave the first flush, right? It gave the first flush. And this is kind of what we always talk about uh, second entry. So if you look at the flush, right? If you look at the flush, it put in its initial low of 80.75. So again, what we talk about, what we talk about second entries is you let it put in a low, let it rally back. And once it clears out the second entry, right? The low of the day, this is where you get short. Obviously never did so, but I still like it for tomorrow. Here's, here's where everything really got aggressive. So Again, Tesla after the close, uh, going nuts, right? So here's Tesla after the close. Uh, deliveries were 10,000, right? There were 10,000 more uh, than anticipated, blah, blah, blah. Stock is surging. God bless, man. Stock is surging. Uh, for all you Tesla bulls, great job. For all you guys who trade Tesla, fantastic job. This stock has been an absolute monster trader, both long and short this week. Uh, if you guys remember a couple of days ago, Caught this thing for 10, 11 points on the upside. For the last couple of days, it's just been downside, 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 pivots one after the other. So this was the big one today. Congratulations for all you guys who caught this trade. Uh, 475, if it builds below, can flush. Note, there's a little bit of supply here at 470. That's where it stopped initially. Uh, on support on the 60 minute, if it gets, it will get really aggressive below 469 and destroyed the stock got absolutely destroyed so here is the pivot right here here is the pivot and it just got annihilated confirmed from this 475 and then the stock just got imploded completely imploded went all the way down to 446 we, we talked about this in the webinar it could get to 442 444 went down to 446 congratulations for you guys uh, who caught this thing again this will be a uh, a crazy trader tomorrow. It really will. We'll be a crazy trader tomorrow. Uh, we'll have plenty of ranges. So let's definitely keep an eye on obviously that. Uh, beyond, you know, 
I shorted Beyond today. I made some money on Beyond today. And as soon as I short, put it on the position, I, I said 63, uh, 63, uh, if it starts building below, it's gonna, it could flush. And again, the stock went down to 57, right? The stock got destroyed. Uh, but again, I was watching a trade and as soon as I put on the short, it went down like, you know, it went down like, what a 40, 50 cents. And then I looked at it, I go, why am I in this thing? Because when I looked at it, I'm like, wow. Because there was some, there was some, 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 some size on, on the bid. The problem was once the stock started trading, it was trading like at a 40 cent spread. And I was like, oh boy, I have a problem. So I said to myself, you know what? Let me give this thing a dollar, a dollar risk. And you know, luckily enough, the futures came in and the stock started coming in. So I took some profits on the trade. And I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm happy with the trade. And then three hours later, the stock really imploded. I'm okay with that. I, I, I made a conscious decision. I, and I said this a long time ago, when you're uncomfortable in a trade, okay, you don't need to lose money in that trade to figure out you never should trade the stock again. It, it's one, today is one of these days that I said to myself, as I was making money in the trade, I was like, you know what? I don't want any part of this thing. And I go, if I get stopped out on my runner, I'm good. I don't want any part of this thing going forward. It just doesn't trade well. If you, if you believe in the story that's gonna go lower, and I think it will, and I actually like it for all you guys who are trading on the option side, I actually do like it for tomorrow uh, below today's low, it starts building. But for me, I'm kind of washing my hands on this thing, literally 20 times a day, but washing my hands. But again, not, not a bad trade, not a bad trade at all. Uh, Netflix, if it builds below, it can flush. Uh, again, again, it gave its first move to about 360, never gave a second entry. I still like it. I still like it if it goes there. Uh, Square, if it builds below, can flush $46. Again, you can see just one after another. Again, not a big move, right? Not a big move. But again, it, it stock second day in a row, closed under, uh, went to 45. Obviously, 45 will be the turn uh, for tomorrow. Um, Facebook got hit. For all you guys who took Facebook on that channel, really got hit really hard. 158 for bills below can flush. Uh, the first candle got just smashed pretty aggressively. So here was the 158, right? So here was the 150, where is it? 158, 158 went all the way down to like 156. A uh, very, very quick move on Facebook, and you pretty much get the theme. Everything got really hit here. Alibaba never got never got down to 85. Uh, Apple, 239, if it builds below, can flush. So here was Apple, right? Here was Apple. Here was the two. Here was the 239. Uh, 239 went to 237. Uh, 50s, right? Uh, 237. 50s on Apple on that first move. And again, here's next support coming in. Again, nice morning flushes. Now let's just stay patient everything's in the middle of the channel. And this is when everything, and these are my comments as the market was going higher, everything was in the channel. And I always say, whatever doesn't go up must go. So it's just common sense. So uh, that, and again, this is the pivot to the upside. Three, seven needs to build. Uh, I guess it triggered at the, at the close, whatever the case may be. So 370 uh, went to like 371, doesn't make a difference. Uh, again, here's the big pivot here. 379, 378 can test lows later, experienced traders only. You had a 30 point move on Tesla, so big move there as well. Uh, take on the way down, new lows on deck, blah, 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 blah. And that's it, and that's it. So, uh, you know, look, going into tomorrow, um, you know, I, I, I'm, get, I'm going to give the bears the benefit of the doubt. Okay, I will. Um, obviously, Tesla's gonna give us some ranges tomorrow, both the long side and the short side. Fridays have traditionally been uh, a pretty good value day, okay? Um, the most important part is, again, wait for the channels uh, to develop, wait for the confirmation, use second entry, and hopefully you'll get a pretty big uh, move in your directional bias. Guys, God bless everybody. Please stay safe, stay at home, and with God's help, we'll pull through this together. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.